Hi, I'm Greg Warsham. Uh, I'm Greg Warsham. I'm a photographer out of Los Angeles. I do fine art, photography, wedding, portraits, boudoir, anything with a camera. Don't really do too much sports anymore. So 15 years on photography, 13 years on the fine art side of the house. Uh, basically, um, so weddings was my thing. Part of the wedding philosophy is to offer products and services. And then the next step on a wedding, brides often want boudoir work. Boudoir work is mostly lingerie, not nudity or anything like that. So I started learning how to do that and getting into that game. And then um, my day job is engineering. I travel a lot, a lot, lot, like at 40%. And I couldn't continue the, the wedding business as I thought I would. So I started looking at other ways to further my photography, really keep my photography going, not really as a business, uh, my photography going. And I'll, I'll think about ways that um, that we as black folks are not being seen. And that's really important to me. So, and I can do it my way. Somebody else can do it their way. But my way was we often see women of color um, dropping like it's hot or bending over, which is cool for, if you like that, and that's fine. But we also need to see us in a more positive light and shine. So my, my work is really focused on showing black women or women of color in a real elegant, strong way. And I really think over the years I've been doing that and I really am proud of that work. Oh, the shows, this is kind of new. I've done five shows. I live in all Long Beach and it's kind of tough. And in California, believe it or not, it's really rough. In Northern California, I might be able to do it, but in Southern California, for me, it's kind of rough. I get more action or more activity in Texas or anywhere but L.A. So that's how that goes. Yeah, I moved around a lot. Um, uh, I would say I'm from Long Beach if I was going to say something, but I moved around a lot. Uh, Compton, Carson, Arkansas, L.A., Long Beach, Atlanta, no, Dallas, no, Houston, Dallas, Atlanta, and back to Long Beach. So Long Beach is home. No, not a curator at all. Not at all. Nothing. None of that stuff. Uh, I like math, like science. And then so when you like, in my era, if you like math and science, they never say go be a teacher. They say go be an engineer. So I became an engineer. My middle brother's an engineer. So that's where I went. Never, never thought about photography, none of that stuff. And just kind of stumbled into it. To me, it was a technical challenge. The whole doggone thing, technical challenge. How to light somebody, where the light is, where it's going to be, the ratios, all of it is just technical stuff. And that led one thing after the next. Getting better at this, getting better at that, perfecting that. Again, showing us in a different light in a different way. And so a lot of my photography is um, out in the elements. A lot of my photography is dealing with tough stuff that's hard to shoot for most people. But the technical aspect of it is really what drove me a lot of different directions. And uh, so that's where I'm at with it. It's more of a technical problem. So I don't have no good eye. I work hard at it. I work really hard. So that's all it is. No, I wouldn't say no. I, I would have to say no. Um, but however, I would say um, Scott Kelby, if you remember anything from this interview, Scott Kelby, game is not fine art but photography wise it, it gives you enough tools and uh joe mac mcnelly joe mcnelly is really strong so um uh, messing with scott learning from him indirectly i have had uh conferences where i was at and he was at and the workshops went on but joe mcnelly is the one who got me really into really freaking light i, I mean like looking at light understanding light want to kill light, want to hide light, want to do whatever I want to do with light, bend light. Joe McNeil is the guy. And then that's really helped out my wedding game. But then I start pushing that towards my fine art game, my portrait work. And so I would say that's about the closest thing to formal training. Let me start with my daddy. My daddy's no longer here. When I first started shooting photography, my goal was simple to shoot events. I look at it as like a little side hustle. I'm going to shoot your party, this and that. And then you start doing that work and it's really dog work. It's looked fun, but it's really, really dog work. And then I say, okay, now I don't want to do this. And also it's meaningless. Once it's over with, you're like a DJ. You pack up and you go. I didn't like that. 
So I'll start doing the wedding stuff. But my daddy said this, boy, you just want to shoot some naked woman. And I'm like looking at him, why would you say that? Well, I mean, honestly, I mean, I didn't, I had no intentions of this stuff. And then so when we got into this game, it started as an experiment, just trying to see what's going on. Actually, it started with understanding my equipment, the light thing. That's where it started. Um, but nonetheless, my mom, my mother-in-law, my aunts, all of them are fans. My wife, um, I think at first it may have been a little difficult at first, um, but I will honestly say she's probably the biggest supporter and fan. Now, this way we work it. If I have a concept, I usually work the concept first, then come back and show her some images that I like her to see. But I rarely discuss new projects with her because I like to have that freedom, I don't want to worry about it. But the other thing is when I bring it to her, she has fresh eyes. And it's been working out really good. But again, my whole family um, are like fans of mine. But again, the work the work really helps. Everybody's in a, I mean, I take ladies in a very positive light. I never um, put them in a, any compromising position. Uh, and they look great, they show off, and it really shows really black excellence. So my whole family is all on it. They all bought my book. My wife is down here now. She's the one who picked the images. She's the one who decided which way we're going to go on the product. So we're in this partner in crime thing, but we, we're not 50-50. Nothing in life. No marriage, no situation 50-50. But her significant 40% uh, percent is really the game changer. When she touch it, it's hot. You know, when I touch it, it's all right. So... That's it. So, but she's a, a big fan. Um, she knows most of the models, but she don't know them at first. So a lot of this stuff, you just have to go with it. And she let me do my thing. So now I would have to say I'm a full-blown artist. I don't, you know, if you don't like my stuff, keep it moving and pushing. And and it's been working out. So even my pastor like my stuff, you know, so it works out. Long story short, this one lady, she was, I met her, she wasn't doing nothing. I mean, she was just trying to find her way. I come back, she's shooting for essence. And I thought, man, she can do it, I can do it, you know. And that was motivation. She's still one of my heroes. But long story short, uh, no, I'm an engineer, uh, never did no photography stuff, never had an interest in it, never thought about it. I didn't even know what the cameras were called. I had to text a homie and asked him, hey, man, what, what camera am I supposed to tell this guy I need to get? And I didn't even know what DSLR it was. So totally new. But it does go to show if you sit down with something, you can learn it. But you got to have, I think, um, the black experience is really something really important. It tweaks how we learn. And when we learn it, we flip it. So we don't really copy people. You know, we really kind of throw our twist on it. That's something we all should be proud of as black folks. But honestly, seriously, I mean that. I had an interview with USC, the newspaper. And it was this white guy. Now, he was a cool guy. He was cool. He said in his art class, how you doing? He said in his art class that um, they mentioned that the definition of beauty was white female. And uh, he was not saying that. That's something that was a survey. You know, he wasn't, you know, he was asking my reaction to that. I said, who want to see that? No flavor. They do, they copycat everything. But us, our shit is always dope and right. It's really, we're in a very unique position. Anything we touch is going to be a lot better than it was. So I'm really proud of the work that we do. And no, I don't shoot men. I have no desire to do it. The other photographers do it, have fun with it. I don't really shoot white folks either. I don't shoot Asian people either. People of color, that's my game. I think I'm gonna be doing more shows. I may not be creating as much. I think I'm gonna just um, be showing. I think that's that's that was my plan going in it. Um, being an engineer, I've been laid off a gang of times. So my retirement plan is being able to um, sell my wares. So I, I think that's that's the direction I'm trying to go in anyway. So this is like a, a good third step for me. I really want to be remembered that um, my images is our images that are necessary. They're, they're very important. It's important for us to have an opportunity to be seen in every light and have every facet. 
We don't always have to be the Luke dancers or somebody bending over the OnlyFans fan. We don't have to do that. We can be, we can be if you want, you know, each his own. But we can also be beautiful people uh, and show and show it off. Most of my models that I shot with, uh, skin tones vary from light to dark to medium. Um, most of them hairstyles are different. I prefer natural hair. Um, I really don't like wigs at all. And uh, so, you know, it's just one step at a time. And I think I'll be remembered, my work will be remembered as really showcasing us in a real positive and authentic site. program is brought to you by the Kansas City Business Association.